let's go. Spider of Two is the first game. We got Winchester in red playing as a Spanish. And on the other side, we got Margugu in the blue playing with the Britons. Okay. So, Conquistadors versus Archers? Or what? Uh, okay, let me tell you that Vinch is going to trash. Vinch is go going to do the Vinch trash. Because <laughs> uh, he's one of those weird people who goes uh, for Spanish. But... Uh, but he doesn't go conks. He just goes for trash. Oh, yeah. So, Vinci is lowering his deers here, why not? Only issues that might be problematic here is the gold stone is, and berries are actually amazing for one Google in case Vinci trashes. But, uh, well, Margugu is also a big hamster, Kappa. So, he's one of the bigger Arabia bots. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he really is a full Arabia bot. Does he really favor only Arabia? Because I think he does play very well on other maps, too. The reason why I see him as one of the bigger hamsters is, is because he's a big monk uh, hater. <laughs> That's why. Uh, but he's quite good on other maps too, so yeah. Behave, Eisenberg. He does hate arena and monks and fun. Okay. And he just get his final deer, did not touch the boars yet. Saint goes for Margugu. Sorry guys, one second. Certainly that HP. I mean, we can fight, right? Remember more seven? Do I remember? Okay. Second board here for Margugu. I'm sure that both will go Feudal Age, to be honest. I'm sure that both will hamster here. If I was Spanish, I would definitely go Kongs. The question would have been uh, forward or aggressive. See? But, since he's against Britons, and Britons will likely go for archers, but look. What did I tell you? Not a Google is hamster in this. Uh, and he's up with 18 villagers. Wow, wow, wow. This is definitely gonna be men at arms and towers. Could potentially be like straight archers even without men at arms. But he definitely has to go forward for a tower to break in. Okay, Vinci is now up as well. Quite late for someone who trashes, so I don't think he trashes actually, but that's still super fast if you're not trashing, so I don't know what his plan is to be honest. Ok, 
Derek's coming up. Okay. What are these track sheep, man? What the hell, bitch? Monday? Mangugu is coming forward. Shocking. Men at arms. But no tower. So it's men at arms into archers. Okay. I mean, like, if you don't have a tower behind you, you can just wall forever against men at arms. But, well, archers will be coming, but it will take some time. Hero Age now for. Winchester, getting Loom, Horse Clover, double bit X. Don't open the gate by mistake. Shalom and Brain. Oh, still, I think he has less villagers. He doesn't. He has the same. He didn't have Loom. That's why I think. Arch range is incoming, so are we gonna get skirmishers? Archers, Spanish archers. Where were you and bring you delight? All good. Uh, Spanish archers, I mean, well, do not get crossbow, then especially against Britons. I don't know if that's a correct play here by Winchester. Blacksmiths, counter blacksmiths. Grass collect is a bit better for Pinch, slightly. 100 more. Both are getting fletching. I Means those men at arms are not doing much. Basically, just observing fire <laughs> from the archers and skirmishers. Well, Age of Empires is not going anywhere. It's been here for 20 years. We are too old and stupid to switch to other games. Our brain is not advanced enough to see clicks a youngster to do today. Okay, so no, 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 not much is happening at the moment. Ready. But look at the resources of Winchester, guys. It's looking so much nicer. Like... Maybe that's a minute arm investment? Like, let's, let's do mass. Yikes. 3 militia is 100 food, 180 food, 60 gold, and the man at arms upgrade is 280 food and 110 gold. Nah, you know what? Just some food missing. Maybe that explains it. Does rest collected? Well, Vinci is definitely better. 200. Okay, go back. Nice light for here by Vinch. And Vinch is on the way to Castle Edge, guys, and he's on stone already. So we'll be getting cons conquistadors, but first, skirmishers. <laughs> but Google's still not there. He can get a market maybe and balance his economy, but it's still not there. Okay, one marathon growth goes down. Micro hit is real. No. Armor, skirmisher, nice, 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 double kill, headshot, nice, 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 
Nice. Remember when uh, Marbu had military? He's up to Castleage now, one minute slower. Finch could use this to go for a forward castle, maybe Marbu is very heavy on the gold. Okay, Vinch. Is he gonna poof poof poof? Villager coming forward. Seed workshop? Because he doesn't have the stone for a castle. And well, it's only one Villager. I mean, Spanish to build fast, but not like this. A very defensive Seed workshop. We got double range by Margugo, so. He's gonna go for the Briton. Oh, and the Skirmisher. Okay. He will need Siege. Because, yeah, he does get the extra range on the Briton archers and they are sick and all, but they do not kill elite skirmishers. <laughs> okay, more walls by Margugu, getting Bolso. Gate is down. Siege. Manuel is coming. I mean. Now is the time to go for a forward castle. Do a monastery to pick up the relics, okay. Is it open? No, it's not. Yeah, defensive siege workshop by Margugu. Botkin, crossbow is there. He got plus one range for his... Uh, Crossbow, the British crossbow. British crossbow compared to the skirmisher. It's 5 plus 3 versus 5 plus 2. But look at the kill death ratio. So much better for uh, Binchester. Gold up it's for Margugu, but Gunnell's coming from both. Almost as a stone for a castle, 160 stone more. They're gonna go forward, so. Which is. Wall. Okay, Mangonel from Margugo. Now we will see the Mangonel's dancing. Dancing in the rain. Okay, let's see. Who has the better Mangonel micro? Who is the better clown? Careful now. He's just taking the range. I like that actually. I like it. He's basically forcing Margo. Oh! Good micro by Vinch. That's dangerous though, don't put them together like that. Really dangerous. Really dangerous. Oh, the split in the last second, man. That was so important. And now the micro will be tight. Because, uh, 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 what? That was, that was a cheating shot. What the hell? Oh, that was nice though. Man, how did Margul get that kill? Okay. This is so important, because if he loses his position now, Margul, he has no other Mangonels in the queue. And if he loses it, the skirmishers can push. That's a lot of crossbows, though. No armor. Oh, okay, castle. Could have been more forward. But it's dangerous. I like it. More forward would have been greedy, because, like, if he, again, if he loses that Mangonel, if that Mangonel stays up, that castle gets denied. Is it going to be a Dark Castle? Oh my god, he needs to shoot at the villagers. Why is he not shooting at the villagers? He needs to shoot at the villagers. That's a Dark Castle. That's a Dark Castle. Winchester is in trouble. Okay. Okay, 96%, 98%. Ooh, that's not a doubt castle. And now, and now, and now, everything is going down. Oh my god, this could have been denied. If that gets denied, Winchester is in big trouble. But now, it's a different story. Luckily for Vinch, those were Spanish villagers. And they built the castle faster, or everything faster. Okay, now Margugu is in trouble. He's in a university, he wants to get ballistics. Vinci is going to conquist the doors. I don't know about that. Oh! 
Oh! Oh! What? It did not go down? Nice save! Of Kisadora's Earth rules on no ballistics yet. And Finch is quite close to go out to him. I think he needs to just cancel the conks and go to him. I think the conks are not very useful right now. Yurt! Just go to him. Just go to him. Kongs are going to raid a bit. Not sure where. Can go around here, maybe. Both are microing like crazy. The dream of the Arabia bot to micro prod both in skirmishers. This is the dream of the clown. Ooh! Margugu is actually up first. What? Wait, was I looking at Margugu's economy and not Winchester's economy? I'm so confused right now. I thought that Winchester was ready to go up. But it's Margugu who goes up. Okay, I confused their uh, economy, so. My bad. Oh, the Kongs are in, though. The Kongs are in. Vildress are getting hamstered. Two Vildress down, three Vildress down. Gotta go back, four Vildress down. Magonels are going down, too. Lots of micro is happening. Good shot here. Uh, oh, good micro by Margugu. Had to repair, but he's locking himself. What? Shoot! Yurt! Ooh, damn! Eh? Okay, in the end, it was kind of even. Trying to go for more kills here. Winchester already is 12 villagers ahead, but Margugu is on the way to him. It's a problem for Margugu, guys. No castle. He, so I he sold. I thought that he had stone. Vinch is on the way to Imp now. He will be 1 minute and 45 seconds behind. But he has a castle. And Magu cannot really push without a castle. This is a very good game actually so far. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. But who does have Wilbur, so that's something. That's not really 12 villager lead. It's like round 8. Oh, and the castle by Margugu. Margugu bought a castle. Okay, this is actually looking... I don't want to say good for Margugu, because it's not really good. Which needs to micro like crazy. I don't know. I don't know about this. He's going back. Oof, this could be a long one. Kongs are being raiding again. Margugu will have the lead in the trap war. And with one TC in it, I think Britons are favorite against Spanish. Crossbows are going to go for an adventure? Ooh, he can put them here actually and do a lot of damage. Okay, first trap is coming. Finch is still uh, in a... Uh, castle age. Where are you going? Is he going to cut the middle? Why? What is he doing? Do you like that? He wants to cut through the middle. Vich is rushing a defensive castle to stop that. But now Malgu is losing the front. What is he doing? I think it's a horrible move. First kill the castle and then go and cut! I think it's a huge mistake. I think this is a throw. He had this. Just take the castle down. And now he's gonna lose the castle and he's, he's exposed. Oh my god, what a throw by Margugu, man. That's a great response by Vinch with that castle. 
What the fuck was that? Vinci is like, thank you, man. Man, Google had this. Oh, now he needs to take that castle down, but his DC will go down. Oh my god. Oh. He's trying to hoover. No, no way. He's trying to go for the DC. No fucking way. Okay, he needs to repair like crazy. Now it's a battle for the DC. Vinch needs to go. Margugu, I love this move actually. He's about. But the trap goes down, it's not enough, Zazer trap is stuck. Vinch needs to repair, but Margugu cannot do anything. Where are the traps of Vinch? Oh my god, I don't think he has the time. Let the Vinch needs to repair like crazy. Mangonel is coming. <laughs> Kill the Mangonel. <laughs> this is such a brave push, but he needs to repair. Let's see, both Tom Sanders. I think, no, Margugu is losing it first. He's repairing. He, who is losing it? Margugu is losing it. He has nothing left. He has nothing left. Traps are going down. What a beautiful game at the DC of Margugu. Oh god. And did he not put sudden yes. <laughs> Amazing. We are in the round of 16 and they still don't remember to put sudden deaths. And this is our professional scene, guys. <laughs> professional players who live from this game. But they cannot even put that in this game mode. But this was beautiful. This was absolutely beautiful. I think Manogugu had a big throw here. If he just takes his castle, he was more than a minute faster. And he had better military to him. Just take the castle down and then go for the cut. Winchester said thank you, and he just won the game. Alright, so 1 nil for Winchester. Beautiful first game. Was wow, wow, we wow, killed that stretch. It was so much better for Winchester. He had more military. His economy was better, more villagers, and more APM. So now let's go for game number two, guys. So I knew four Pinchester. Let me show you the draft. We load game number two, so now show the draft. No, wait, let's see the draft first. So we had Spanish beating the Britons. And it was a title won by Pinchester. Let's celebrate the return of the Messiah. People of the book, unite under Z Kaiser. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reaper. You delight for the 51 months. Soup. Very old subscriber. Very, very much delight. Okay, so now it will be uh, Sokosh for our suburb. So Manu can say, well, let's play hamster maps from Binge. I don't know. Uh, let's see what second game will bring here. See game number two. Nobody is all this me. Second guy, sorry, struggling to find the game. Okay, game number two is going to be Suburbs. Wait, is that the one that is broken? Dad gone. Is that the one that they restarted? <laughs> Thanks, Buzzy. I think that there was... Oh, shit. Overly, yeah. 
a... Is that the one that they restarted? Because I'm not sure. We had a restart. Was it played? Sorry, I was trying to figure out what's happening. Basically, the, we had a house here for Winchester, who was under the castle. So Winchester deleted the... Morgugu just deleted the house. This is a restart? Ah, this is a restart. Okay, so we are good. We are good. So we got Bengalis from Argugu, one of the sea. Well, this is quite an unfair map to be honest. Let's look where Vinges 30 is. It's basically almost under the castle. So well sometimes happens in suburbs. So Bengalis for Margugu and Slavs for Winchester. Interesting. We have seen Slavs played here before, lots of boyars and shit. You can go for lots of castle with the Tignets and stuff. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Four versus four suburbs. <laughs> Yeah, the farm is actually really, really nice. Who had this perfect build? I remember... Was it Target? Yeah, Target had a sick build with Slavs, I think. Okay. We have seen some kings getting sniped, so let's hope this... Well, actually, let's hope it will be the case, because it's funny, but I don't think we... this will be the case here. This area will be super important, so I think we'll, they will fight for a castle somewhere around here. Slavs should be, well, with a farm bonus, they should be maybe faster with the food, but Bengals will have a lot of villagers. So, it also helps with the economy, of course. Buzzy Wolf strikes again. He has no loom, he has no loom, he has no loom! Oh my god, he garrisoned everything except the <laughs> low HP villager. And that. Oof, he shot in the last second. So let's see. Those are working their way, their way up towards Feudal Age. Hmm. The gold here. Both are close to click up. Oh no, the scout of Winchester is wrecked. I mean, it's not that important, of course, but obviously, always nice to have the scout. Both are up. And Vinch a few seconds faster, getting loom. So it's gonna be even the battle to Feudal Age. He's still scouting with the king. That's very, very risky here by Vinchester. <laughs> Does he know where the castle is? Yeah, he knows. Okay, he knows not to come to this area, basically. So it's fine to scout. Unless he runs into well, the scout, then it will be problematic. Feudal Age for both. Stable and Blacksmith. I don't really understand Stable on Suburbs, to be honest. Like, really Scouts? Are you really gonna go for Scouts? On Suburbs with 3TC and Castle and shit? And we already got double attacks for Vingester, nice. Really, the farm bonus is really kicking in. Look at the look at the full difference between the two guys. Look at the power of slabs on this map. So I can 
guys, sorry. Alright, so Castle H for both, Vinci again, a bit faster, but look at the villager difference for more Google already. That's the power of Bengalis for you guys, Maru Google. And Kibens Arena, look at those walls. What the hell? Big walls by Maru Google. Both are on stone already, so a castle here is definitely on the menu. Can he. Well, that tree is super annoying, actually. That, that outpost is blocking like, a good castle position. So you can either place it here, which will be super dangerous, or you can place it here, which will be outside of this range. Oh! Scout back in the castle! <laughs> okay. So, Margugu is about 25 seconds slower. Closing the scout now, because Peach did the new scout. Nobody expects a scout on hideout, uh, on hideout, on suburbs. What are we getting here? Peach is just blocking potential castle spots, but he cannot, like, he, there could be a castle here. Okay, he's going for a castle. Okay, okay, okay. Just here. Just do it here. Just do it here. Just do it here. Just do it here. Yeah. Oh! Cancelled! Ah. Okay, Margu wants a counter castle. Margu wants a counter castle. Here we go! The great castle war of suburbs is happening once again. Both castles will go up, but Margu will lose some villagers because. Bean should be faster. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you know what? Margu will be faster, actually. It's Vinch who lost the villager. Okay. But Vinch should go up. Vinch is up. Margu far from going up. So he's heading siege. Okay. Vinch will soon have the stone for another castle. In theory, he could go for Ditiniat. He's going for petards. Thank you. Oop. Up. Both are doing petards? No, just Winchester is doing petards. Okay. Margu can now go up, and Margu is up to him with 25 villagers more. Oh, bye bye, scouts. We're gonna see some elephants. Ooh, look at that castle by Vinchester! Still doing petards, that castle might go down actually. You the petards. And we even have a ram coming, okay, I like that. He'll be faster to him, and that castle might be down already. He gets to him. We now got an elephant. Okay, he's going for repairs. He has to go for repairs. Elephant is coming, so I want to see one Mongonel maybe. We now got petards from uh, from our Google too. Elephant versus a ramp. Who wins? He's throwing the elephant into the uh, castle fire. Petards from both. Oh. Villagers are going down here, but the elephant stands. Vinch might lose that castle, actually. Vinch might lose that castle. Good job by Margugu. More petards are coming. He's not hard. He's not okay now. He targeted well. But the elephant. The elephant is so good here. And let's see. More petards are coming. Can he actually save that? Margugu is not attacking the villagers. He's shooting at the castle. That's a big mistake. Well, both are doing... Ah, oh, the petards! Can we just save it? More are coming for repairs. Petards poops out on the wrong side. Shoot at the petard. Shoot at the petard. Oh, it was so good. Can he save it? Builders are coming. Where's the repairs? Trap is there. Can he, can he save that castle? It is so important. Traps are coming from only one castle. So meanwhile, I didn't notice here. Uh, we got a ram coming, that castle is up, what's happening? Can he save that castle? I don't think he can save that castle, he cannot save that castle. Oh my god, both lost a lot of villagers. But Margu has the big lead since him, uh, since to him being the Bengalis. Okay, we got only one castle here for Vinci. He has a lot of idols that he needs to fix. 
Ten idols. And the castle will go down for sure. Gotta, gotta take the TC down. Quickly, before he can save it. Traps are coming. And castle is going down. DC is down, so Margul is down to two town centers, losing the castle here, okay, but Vich is also going to lose the DC. The boss will be down to two town centers. We now got a light cut from Vinch Margul, who has no military right now. He has one spearman and, well, traps and castles. Castles are military. Okay, he's going for the next town center. Got to repair the traps though. And castle is going down. Ooh, light cover coming, and those light cover with the bloodlines now with armor. Can he save that castle? Maybe that's sick if he can do that. That's really sick. The light cover in, and Margul has nothing. Vinch, can he save it? I don't think he can save it. So, uh, uh. okay, castle goes down, but so do all the traps. And that's super expensive. Margul is now trying to rush pikemen. But he still has a big economy with 20 villagers ahead. Those the rest collected is better for Winchester. Thank you, Bengali Farms. Oh, those villagers are so exposed. What did they just say about villager lead? Look at it going down all of a sudden. That rat, well, rats, a rat are coming, but an elephant. Manugu is defending that ca repairing that castle like crazy, that's his only castle. Builder numbers are getting closer and closer. Where's the pikeman? Where is the military? No pikeman from Margugu yet. Saving the trap even. More traps are coming. But these traps are exposed. Margugu is repairing that castle like crazy. But I don't think he can save it. Four traps, five traps, two traps will go down though. These are serious bloodless repairs. Like what the hell? And yeah, the trap, well, the, oh, the elephant, he's so, he's so chunky, it's hard to take it down. But now pikemen are coming, and Finch is doing the switch to men at arms, nice. Mangali's champions are sick, his economy is okay, 36 farmers. But Ugu's economy is, well, he's 3 villagers ahead, but look at his farming, he's only 17. So Vinch more than double on the food, and let's see, he's still trying to take that castle down. Lawless repairs are working. Marugu is down to one town center, Winchester is on two, so he should take the economy lead soon, if he does villagers, of course. Okay. Saves a trap. In the last second. Another castle by Winchester on the hill here, nice. Long swords incoming, we already got two long swords on the field, but who is trying to do the switch to monks? To monks! The monk hater, he got them nerfed and he's doing monks! <laughs> okay. Who is pushing though, he's not giving up on this game, guys. He's still fine, he now has more military, he still has the villager lead. He, I, I don't know if he has the lead here, score says no, but it's not looking too bad for him at the moment. Monk's bad! Conscription incoming. A lock printing for Vinches. Eh, for more Google. Longsword to any longsword upgrade for Vinch. Getting armor, getting conscription. Ooh, the, the light cover diving for the traps and. Oh no, are you kidding me? Okay, I so thought he will not take any trap down in there, but he actually stay, took both traps down and he's saving the castle. He actually saved the castle by that. But only one trap left. And too many long swords have been messed here. Okay. Devotion now for Winchester.
I mean, in theory, Magister can just push from here with uh, through here with traps and go for the DC. I don't think Marugu will notice. He's totally focused on this push, but he has Spikeman only against the uh, two eight swordsmen. So I don't know. But where's the builders? He's gonna repair the traps. Ooh, he actually took a trap from Marugu down. Okay, the traps are coming. Well, ah, you've bad trap. It's blocking the pass. He's going for the gate. Yeah, he wants to get through. Okay. No champion yet from Winchester. Trying to go for the castle, it seems? Yeah. I'm mean, really paying attention. Wall in this, but like, the wall will not help. The Sharps will go here and take down the TC. It's his final TC. If it goes down, it's game over. Racer and a crossbows? The Bengal is to get Arbalest. Champion incoming for Vinch. Plus two armor. Gate is going down. The Petard is coming. Pack the traps and go. Margogo's TC is exposed now to the traps. Vinch can go and finish the game. Many long swords are coming. Soon to be champions. That castle is going down too, Margogo is losing it on all fronts, guys. No thumb ring? That makes sense. W where is he going? Where is he going? Just go here! You take down the TC! I mean, he can get in with the petards, but I, like... Uh, move! Move! It wasn't necessary, but okay. I don't, I don't hate that. And now... How to stop this? He cannot. He cannot. This is Gege, yeah, yeah, guys. Well played by Winchester, really well played. Lugu can try and repair, but... He got no way to stop this. We are even getting Druzina now, and Gigi is called Winchester. Is one victory away from reaching the quarterfinals of Sudden Disaster. Statistics. Good death ratio, better for Binch. Military height, almost the same. Economy wise, so much better, man. Slavs are really good on this map. Really, really good with farm bonus. Villager uh, numbers, better for Binch too, and more APM. So now we'll go for. Game number three. Google has to win it. He shows it rough. So suburbs lost. Spengal is losing to the Slavs. So the next holder of my Google is Sakotra. Actually, what tips do we have for Sakotra? Incas. I call Incas against my Mayans, or Koreans, maybe. Let's see. Here, number three. I was wrong. I got the Incas right, but it's actually... Uh, Saracens uh, for Finchester Saracens. Okay, so uh, early early zebra. Look how close the zebras are for Finchester. Damn, this is actually OP. Seriously, look how close the zebras are. What the hell? And he instantly, instantly goes for one. He can see the elephant already. Gonna take it just in case, because eagles are so good at uh, stealing them. But Margugu is still going forward, or is he? He's. You know about the elephant? He does. Okay. Inka Sam Sakotra is a master of Sakotra tradition. Yes, it is. It was an OP saving master of Sakotra, but not anymore. So thanks to Funny Murphy. All the fun decks. Okay, so by the time Argu gets forward to lame, 
<laughs> Minchester would get everything already. He already got three out of the five ostriches. That's insane. And it's gonna be four. Wow, what an opening for Minch. Seriously, this feels like cheating. Well, maybe Mongo can lame one ostrich. That's something, I guess. Okay, Mongo getting his elephant here. Luring that the zebra away. That ostrich. You're, you're not a zebra. You're an ostrich. You're a big bird. And now Vinci is sending a villager forward. No looms though. Gotta be gotta be careful here. Wanna see him on a strat? What was the name of the dude who who played only Incas and then went down to 18 plus when was it Molisad? No. Salikum, Salikum. Yes, yeah, Salikum, not Molisad. Salikum, I remember. Did he stop after the Ingas got nerfed? Like, we don't, I, I don't remember seeing him anymore. Seriously? Like, why play a game if you play only one suit and do one strategy? <laughs> and then you quit when it gets nerfed? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious actually. Okay, that could be a dead villager, but he, he's killing all the ostriches. Okay, can he save it? I don't think he can save it. Oh, that's a dead villager. Was it worth it, uh, Minch? One villager for all the ostriches? Mm, I think it's worth it. She dropped from 2200 to 1700 and quit. Wow, Viva. So hello, dirty squirrel. Okay, so Marugugu is one villager ahead. That's nice. That's nice. And he's forced to, well, to meal the ostriches. Also, the berries, but look how spread those ostriches are, man. It's a disaster. You have to walk all around to collect them. Okay. okay. Eagle lost Hoven in here. She's ready to go up and missing certain food. Drop food hotkey. Up we go. Well, but 11 idle seconds. Margugu is also up. Same time almost. One second faster. Also a lot of idle TC time. But he has one villager more. Thanks to the one villager that he sniped. And we're gonna go for heavy level hamstering here. I think he's on gold already. His gold is, look at this positioning of the gold. This is absolutely beautiful. And the berries are great too. Manchester map was really cheating. Like, ostriches right on the DC, gold and berries perfect position. I still prefer Morgugu Siv though, and he's one villager ahead, so he has, he has that going for him, which is nice. But Manchester's map is absolutely amazing. Is he gonna go minute arms, do you think? Or is no, I think it's gonna be straight archers, right? Because uh, Perry should have been up already, and Lisha should have been uh, queued if he was going for minute arms. So it's gonna be straight archer. But my Google had to do the hamster counter, and it's gonna be great skirmish, right? Hello. Yeah, no, Lisha. Range. Range. Notice that he's not on gold. <laughs> so, of course, it's skirmishers. Okay, so Vigister is sour since he has a, a market bonus. He has also a cheaper market, uh, so him 
going one range, trying to get an early market and buy him his way up to castle if he thinks that's a play here. Spearman opening. Okay, well, there's no scout, but wait, there is a scout point, so why not? Okay, trying to stop the eagles, luring them away. Well, Winchester is walling from both sides, so Winchester, Winchester is going to be fully walled. He saw the range, so he knows if eyes are archers. Pyramid sure he doesn't know about him being on gold or not. So he cannot uh, guess what that is. Heavy walls here. Boy. Oh, he will wall on time, no worries here. So Vinch, like a true Arabia bot, is fully walled minute 11. Well, 11. And he's getting the market, just like we discussed. Scout is there, gonna bet, get a boink, gotta get a boink, boink, no, gotta get a boink. We got five farmers, four more Google, ah, oh, no, okay, getting one hit, not bad. And yeah, he's already going heavy on the gold, he will probably sell the stone upon getting the market up. Trying to buy himself time to do doing some walls, I mean, skirmishers are really bad at going through walls, right? He's gonna sell the stone. Or is he gonna wait? I think he should sell the stone because like even if Manu pushes the tower, like what is he gonna lose the berries? Yeah, he sold the stone. Down watch now for Margugo, he's housed a bit. Is he getting a bit more idle this wait, what? Oh, he was doing downwards, that's why he was not getting idle this time. Winch Winchester was double the idle this time, actually. From it. That's that's not like normal scout attack. It's supposed micro click 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 clickety click. And the scout is going back. Vinci is well. He's doing archers. Notice that he's not trying to conquer. That he's not doing skirmishers. So he won't be won't be able to engage directly. His choice will be either to go and raid. Oh, that's why. Who has outposts just in case to see if uh, raids are coming? Not so that he can see exactly everything. You can see on the right, you can see on the left. So, no sneaky attack from Finch uh, will work here. But Finch can also choose not to. Ooh! Sneaky stable! Uh, look at that! So, Margugu Margu Margu might. Might think, okay, Vinci is definitely going to Castle Age. Uh, I can maybe try and go Castle Age too. I have enough skirmishers, archers cannot hurt me. And then, bam! A couple of scouts, and he loses everything. And then the archers will be free and go and do the damage. Interesting. You're not getting here in, in, says Winchester. Finish up the house here. Scouts are coming. Three scouts now getting the blacksmith. We'll get fletching as soon. And Margugo is up. So if Vinch wants to do damage, this is the time to do it. Because if Margugo goes to Castle Age, he will be able to switch to Eagleos. And Eagles are are ideal to to fight uh, feudal age military like archers and scouts. So this is the time to go. Oh shit! My second monitor died. So I don't know what you wrote, Reaper. I saw that you wrote something. But my monitor died. Let me open it on the phone. And the new monitor. Can you convince the Swiss government to get me a new monitor, Reaper? Okay, the scouts are coming. We consider rebranding to Johnny Slow. Okay, remember when Margugu had military? Just got fletching, but he's losing absolutely everything. He's down to two military. He's on the way to Castle Age, so he's adding 
a second barracks, but Vinci is also on the way to Castle Reach. Okay, tower on the gold was important. Yeah, super crucial actually, but let's see if we can do the damage. Try to sell all monitors for 20. I don't need old monitors. In the new monitor, it's dying because it's an old monitor. I have a great monitor for this game and a pleb monitor for the chat. Siege workshop incoming for Margulu. Denied for now. Fletching just in. That eagle is gonna get wrecked by the scouts. What do you mean a big white screen? How do I feel both? Like, I don't think it's very comfortable. What huge screen? Actually, maybe, I don't know. I never tried a really huge one. I have a decent one, as I said, for the main, but. Can you please turn on? Turn back on? Thank you, monitor. Back on. It keeps dying. I don't want a tablet. I need two monitors, not only for streaming, but also for gaming. Like, I usually play football manager and watch a TV show at the same time. Like, doing one thing is uh, it's boring. Okay. Two monitors is a must in my eyes. Okay, Eagles are coming. We got Scorpions coming as well for our Google. Botkin coming for Winchester. Builder numbers are the same. Let's see. I'm not sure about crossbows against Eagles, but the Eagles have only plus one armor. And there are still only Eagle Scouts. So let's see. He's trying to come from, me, from the side. Okay. Altavin, are you out of your mind? We got knights coming too. Double stable for Vinch. Okay, this could be one big fight that will finish the game. Oh, not like that. <laughs> I thought in the favor of Vinch, but it was actually almost a disaster for him. Uh, if the knights can get to the siege, it's gonna be brutal. Okay, Mangonel is exposed. Good micro here. Good micro. Great micro by Vinch. We're going to try to micro Scorpion. Oh! Okay, knights are still alive and the Scorpion is down. More knights are coming. Ma uh, Monastery is a bit late. Winchester is overrunning Margugu. He cannot deal with the micro. Great micro by Vinch. Look at the knights. They're everywhere. Gonna get the Mangonel. Margugu trying to repair. Mangonel is down and Monastery denied. This is a disaster. Oh no. Oh no, this is not looking good for Margugu. Margugu, gonna lose more villagers. Ay, 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 ay. Economies are still the same, but well, now she's losing them. Eagles cannot really engage. The Eagles have no upgrades. They are pooping out just to die. Crossbows are closing in. What can Margugu do, guys? Is there any hope? Not on a Mangonel, okay, but like hope here and shoot. Oh, that was the big shot! That was an amazing shot. But is that enough to come back into this game? How many kills did it get? Five kills and it heavily damaged the other crossbows. So can I see it was a mistake, should rather went for upgrades. Probably, but against the knight it's hard, maybe it's hard, it's hard composition to play against knights and crossbows. And now, ooh, he bought a castle, okay, it's a GG. He bought too much stone, man, he bought 500 stone. <laughs> Why not, I'm Saracens, I don't care. Let's buy more. One conversion, one insta, oh, that was a conversion, but the monk goes down. Castle is up. Mangonel pops out, save. What? Kill it. Mangonel goes down. GG, well played. Finchester with a brutal display is in the quarter final, guys. Okay, guys. So this is it for today. The picture of the quarterfinals is almost complete. We have one 
a round of 16 set left. Vipur versus 